This is Brandon Merriman with the Onega High School media team. Welcome to the 2016 school year here at Onega High School. Our first set of interviews will be with the new staff members. Our first interview will include Cassidy Willard with the new art teacher, Miss Becker. I'm Cassidy Willard and I'm here with Mrs. Becker, the new art teacher. Where did you teach before coming to Onega? Well, um, I've taught and am still teaching for Highland Community College down in Wamego, but I taught at Manhattan High for two years. Um, art, uh, like black and white photography and ceramics and general art classes. I've taught uh, elementary art at different towns, different schools, and I've subbed in several of the districts here in eastern Kansas. Why did you decide to come teach at Onega? Uh, I've always wanted to be a K-12 district art teacher and the opening was here and I know a lot of the kids here in Onega and uh, like the community and I don't live far from here either too. How long have you been teaching? Over 20 years. What drove you to become an art teacher? Uh, I've loved art ever since I was seven years old. I had a girl cousin who got her doctorate in art history and she kind of mentored me and started me out at a very early age, age seven. And I've loved art always and um, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I love working with kids and so I'm very passionate about both. And yeah, why did you grow up back? I grew up in Osage City, actually south of Osage City, Kansas on a farm. I'm a farm girl. and. Um, I attended uh, KU for the summer of 1969 and then graduated high school from Osage City High in 1970 and uh, went to Emporia State for two years, married, put my husband through two degrees, and then went back to finish my art degree at K-State. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a great time in Atlanta. Thank you, Cassidy. Thank you, Cassidy, for that interview. Next up, we have Eli with the new fifth grade teacher, Mr. Steele. Hi, I'm Eli Green. I'm here with the OHS media class. And here with me is Mr. Steele, who is one of our new teachers. And we will be interviewing him today. So, Mr. Steele, in your 13 years of teaching, where is your favorite place to teach? Roman Hill Elementary in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, what was your opinion of the Lawrence school system? It's really big, but there's some great people there. Is there a reason you moved to a small town like Onega? Uh, oh, I haven't moved here, but I am working here. Uh, I grew up in a small town, a rural guy, and uh, I look forward to working with some rural students. Why did you choose to become a teacher? I. Uh, I'm about 10 years older than my brother, so I've been teaching for a while, and I enjoy it. I like to see students grow, and uh, I'm old enough now that some of my students are adults, and I hear from them, and I like to see uh, how they've become and hear about all their achievements. So what was your opinion of KSU and Baker? It was excellent. Um, Kansas State is uh, a school with uh, lots of students from small towns, so after one year, you know, just about half of everybody there. It was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. You said you would like the town. What did you like about it? Uh, what I like about Onega is it has a lot of things to offer in, in such a small package. Um, so you said you were getting married this November. What are you most looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to making it official. Well, thanks for your time, and I hope you have a great year. Thank you. Thank you, Eli, for that interview. Next up, we have Austin with the new junior high high school English teacher, Mr. Cook. My name is Austin, and I'm here with Mr. Cook, the new high school and junior high English teacher. And I'm going to ask him some questions just to get to know him, and so we can. Yeah. I understand that you've been teaching for 19 years. Have you ever done anything? Have you ever done anything else? Uh, in addition to teaching, I also farm a little bit, and then I'm also a crop adjuster. And I also understand that you're originally from Seneca, and I've taught at Sedgwick. What made you come here and uh, start teaching here? 
I wanted to be a little closer to home. Like I said earlier, I do a little bit of farming, so uh, it's a little more convenient to be at home and be closer to the farm. That way after school I can go out and play farmer. And, and, uh, it's not quite as stressful as being 200 miles away. Makes sense. And closer to home, family, friends, etc. So. And in your and in your 19 years of teaching, have you ever done any supplementary assignments? Well, I've never coached anything, but I've uh, helped. I've done yearbook, um, been class sponsors, just kind of just those general odds and ends things that most teachers do throughout the course of their career. And you've taught grades nine to twelve, including subjects such as English, yearbook, and government. What made you want to teach these subjects and why? Oh well. Probably like a lot of teachers, I had uh, some pretty good high school teachers. I um, always kind of liked English in high school and had some pretty good teachers and I thought, well, kind of like what they did and I kind of like English, so it seems like a good fit. And in choosing a college for your degrees, what made you uh, lean towards choosing a K-State? Well, I didn't know that there were any other colleges, I just thought there was K-State. They tell me there's one in Lawrence, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, but no, K-State has a good program, it's close to home, I liked some of my friends were going there, so I went there, and um, no regrets at all. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. And have a nice school year. You too, thanks. Thank you, Austin, for that interview. Next up, we have Ian with the new kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Kufal. Hello, my name is Ian Hyde. Today, I'm here with Ms. Kufal for an interview. I understand you've been living in Onega for how many years? I moved here when I was five, so about 20 years. Wow, okay. How come you stay here? Um, I just love this school, and so when I decided I wanted to become a teacher, I wanted to work in the same school that I went to. Okay. Uh, can you explain what your job is right now? Right now, I'm a student teacher through Fort Hayes State University. And then um, at second semester, then I'll transition into the um, second kindergarten teacher, so two rooms. Okay. Uh, you said you were a parent for four years. What class or classes was this for? I was a high school IRC para for two years, and then I was a Title I para in the grade school for two years. All right. And what made you want to be a kindergarten teacher? I love the little kids. They say the funniest things, and so that's, I, that's what I prefer. Okay. And then uh, you said you're going to college in Fort Hay State. Wasn't there one other one that you were? I also about? went to Flint Hills Technical College. I okay. thought I wanted to be a dental hygienist, but then I changed my mind and decided to become a teacher. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, you're and welcome. we will. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ian, for that interview. Next up, we'll have myself interviewing Mrs. Herder, the new Kansas Reading Roadmap Coordinator. This is Brandon Merriman, and I'm here with Mrs. Herter, the new Kansas Reading Roadmap Coordinator, and we're going to do an interview this morning. Excellent. So, for those of us who don't know what Kansas Reading Roadmap is, can you explain it for us? Um, the Kansas Reading Roadmap program is a program that helps kids K through 3 learn how to read, um, and it's different than school. It's more hands-on and fun activities. Sounds interesting. What is the difference between teaching Kansas Reading Roadmap and like third grade? Well, the biggest difference is not having a classroom full of students. I basically just delegate to my tutors and um, make sure that they're doing their jobs with the students. So you don't teach yourself? I don't teach anymore. No. What made you decide to go into a teaching career? Um, when I first started college at KU, I got a job tutoring uh, second graders, and I just knew I was supposed to be a teacher. Can you tell us a little bit about your family? Um, well, I'm the oldest child, and I have three younger brothers, and um, I also have a four-year-old daughter named Johnny, and I will be getting married in September. Sounds interesting. <laughs> what made you decide to come to Oneg? Um I decided to come to Onega because it's close to my hometown, but not too close. And speaking of your hometown, what is the difference between your hometown and Onega? Um, well, my home, hometown is Seneca, and uh, the difference is I know everyone there, and it's a little bit bigger, whereas in Onega it's smaller and I don't know as many people. 
so that would be the biggest difference. All right. Well, thank you for your time and have a good year. Thank you, sir. Thank you to all the new staff for those interviews. I would like to welcome them all to the Onega School District and look forward to more videos by the Onega High School media team.